Alright guys, today we're gonna change a pulley on this Pro Charger to get some more boost. Should get another 2.5 PSI or so. Anyways, this is a Dodge Ram. It's pretty tight here. So first thing we're gonna do is take out this coolant. You got a bolt here, a bolt over here, and then you got two, uh, two connectors that are at the bottom down there. So take those out and then remove your hose, plug it with something, take the two bolts out. Now we had to get this piece of shit beauty cover off and this thing is snapped in super super tight so you're going to end up thrashing it because there's no way to get it out. It didn't even want to come out until after three pieces broke out of it because it's super uh, tight inside of this cover here. So more than likely if you're changing the pulley it came all together and um, you're gonna have to order a new cover if you want the cover so now we're gonna break this loose with the impact gun so we need to leave the belt on until we get this nut broke loose otherwise we'll just spin the supercharger so you need an elbow here and uh, you're gonna need this on to hold the pulley and uh, just give it a nice hit So let's try breaker bar. Alright, so we're gonna have to grab the crank pulley with another socket, and then that'll keep everything from rotating, and then I can yank on this and break it loose. Alright, so these guys make a good product, but in this fucking truck it's cramped and it oh, I'm trying to breathe right now. Anyways, uh to get this fucking piece of shit broke loose, you need to put a uh, ratchet or a breaker bar down here on the crank pulley. And I had that shit resting against the uh, frame with my three ton jack handle, which worked good as a pipe. So then I finally broke this loose. Uh, and it's just normal threads, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I was thinking for a minute it was reverse thread, but it's not. It is normal thread. Um, so now that I have this broken loose, I'm going to take, loosen this uh, tensioner pulley and pop the belt off and get this the rest of the way out and uh, move on to the next step. Alright, now that we have this uh, reservoir tank out of the way, we need to get the belt off. So we have to loosen the tension with this idler pulley. So. You put the uh, ratchet or breaker bar into this 3 8 hole and then pull up. And that loosens it so you can get the belt off. Alright, so the only real way to get in here with the impact is with the elbow. So you're going to have to buy an elbow if you don't have one. Um, so yeah, let's try this out. Alright, so I finally got this stupid thing out. Fuck my life, dude. Thread locker in here. You're supposed to put some back too, so we're gonna do that, but just beware. It's a pain in the ass. I bash my finger because uh, the elbow on my impact wrench flew out a couple times and spun around and whacked my fucking finger, so I'm probably gonna be a little bruised from that, but our pulley came off real easy. Um, you, if you have an issue, then you're going to have to um, heat it up a little bit with a torch. So this is aluminum. All right, the pulley's aluminum. This here is uh, some kind of steel. I don't know if it's cast, forge, whatever. So the heat differential, this is going to expand, and this is uh, going to expand at a slower rate, which makes it loose when you heat it up. Um, so don't try to do it cold because this is shrunk tight on here so now I need to grab some cleaner I gotta clean out all these threads in here um, wipe off any kind of rust or residue and uh, install the new keyway alright so grab a blow gun blow it out 
I'm going to use some chlorinated brake cleaner in here. A little bit of that. Then blow it up again. And that looks pretty clean to me. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but. So it should be all nice and shiny in there. So now we're going to do the keyway. So our keyway is pretty loose. I just had to wiggle it and it came out. Here's the new one. Um, I think the reason they want you to change it is because there's pressure here and there's actually like what seems to be uh, a line from where it was pushing against it. So just slide in there, new one, which might not, there it goes. So put it in, give it a little, uh, we're going to tap it down and into the back of the groove, and then you're done with that. All right, got the new keyway in. Here's the new pulley, it's a 3.6 inch. Um, the problem is, as the directions say, it uh, it's too tight to go on. So we need to heat this aluminum, make it expand so we can slop it on here. So I got a propane tank here. I got a propane tank here with uh, some of the flames. So we're gonna heat the back of it since if it just in case it discolors it at all. Um, I don't get it that high. If it discolors it at all, it'll be on the back side and nobody will see it, so no one will give a shit. You don't want the front, though, to get discolored. I guess you could put this into... Oh, shit. It's doing techno. Anyways, uh, you could put it in an oven at your house. Um, but I'm not sticking it in the oven getting cussed out by the wife. If any of you are married, you know why. So I'm going to do this, and then I'll show you it when I slip it on. Alright, so this son of a bitch is uh, a tad hot now. So, these snap-on gloves work alright. But, where's the key? Whew. Nice and warm. So it is wiggling on. Fuck. Having no room under the hood is a pain in the ass. Ooh. So I think I'm gonna get a rubber mallet, give it a little more heat, and um Tap it on with a rubber mallet and we should be done. Alright, so I just used this rubber mallet deal. I just tapped it like this across. So it gave it a spin every once in a while. Tapped it and now it's all the way on. You want to make sure when you're looking that the pulley there in between here is all the way against the metal shaft of the other one. So now we're going to put this spacer here. You want the step going inside the pulley. I just dropped it, but the step inside and then uh, put Loctite on this bolt and put it in. Okay, I decided before we put this bolt in with the Loctite, since it's hot, I don't want the Loctite to cure too fast. Well, in between putting this on and putting the belt so that I can torque it down. So I'm just going to take this, put it off to the side. We're going to put the belt back on. Just do it reverse way of the way you took. I showed you how to take it off. That will put tension on here and then I can tighten it and then right away torque it down. All right, now that we have the belt on, it will hold it better. Just put a little bit of Loctite on this thing. Make sure the step is in. 
because it sits inside of the pulley. Should be able to go 90% of the way by hand. And you'll know the um, this is on correctly because it'll sit flush with the groove on the inside. So that's uh, in good enough for right now because we're going to have to hold the crankshaft again and um, to get this to not move. Now, this is a smaller pulley, so we have one issue. The belt's going to be looser and the tensioner is not going to be in the right spot. So the tensioner, you're going to want the tensioner to sit right about, so there's totally open. There's, uh, it's almost all the way down, so we want it to sit right about here. So now we have to loosen this bolt right here, and then there's a set screw on the back to move this uh, idler pulley up and down. So have somebody on your team, because uh, you probably shouldn't be doing this alone, hold this up to where it's in the middle of the ten uh, tensioner's travel. You need to be dead center of the tensioner's travel. And then loosen here, tighten there until this is pretty tight. And then you let this go the rest of the way. All right, so you're gonna need a torque wrench, set it to 40 foot pounds per directions. I have the crank pulley being chalked against the floor. I'm gonna use my, my other hand, hold this tensioner tight, and then go. You see that? So we're tight right there. Then the Loctite will dry and uh, you put your reservoir back together with these two bolts and that's it. Everything should be done. Do not forget to tighten this idler pulley again when you adjust it up here. So I have roughly, uh, let's see if we can see here, yeah right there so this is the dead stop right so I have I have about a half of it half an inch to dead stop then as it's riding it'll be right in that area so if you want a uh, visual to help you set it right about there should be good because the belts gonna slowly if it's a brand new belt it's gonna stretch a little bit um, not a whole lot, but it'll stretch a little bit. But this will give you enough play and enough tension. So that's what you want right there. Cool. Now I'm going to put this back together and turn this son of a bitch on.